As the warm summer days turn cool, our thoughts turn to all the things we love about autumn, including apples picked right from the orchard. At Chudley's Apple Farm in Milton, everyone can find an apple to enjoy. There's 21 varieties in total, many of which are not ripe at this time of year just yet. They'll all be ripe by October 20th. But today we're picking Macintosh, of course, which is a standard apple here in Ontario, well known to everyone. And another one that is just finished called Ginger Gold is a new one, very crisp, juicy, and it has a thin skin, so it disappears and it doesn't catch in your throat. While 21 varieties may sound intimidating and confusing to the average person, people picking apples on the farm don't have to worry about trying to make sense of all the different kinds. Nature has taken care of that. It's not that confusing because any one weekend, uh, some varieties have finished and other varieties have not yet started to be picked and are not mature. An apple is kind of like a sponge hanging on a tree and the leaves are feeding sugars into this sponge. When the sponge is filled with sugars, the apple is said to be ripe. So picking it before it's ripe is like opening a can of pop and finding out it's only half filled. You've paid full price, but you've only got half a pop. So by picking an apple before it's ripe, you're picking an apple that's largely wood and, spun and absorbing area, but it hasn't got any sugars or any flavor in it yet. It's kind of woody. So as different varieties mature, we sell out on others and others come on. So at any one time, there may be as many as five varieties that we're picking one day. Once you bring the apples home, it's important to make sure you store them properly. Because apples picked later in the season are picked in colder temperatures, they will last longer at home. But that shouldn't stop you from picking the earlier crop apples and taking them home. The best way to handle apples when you get them home is if you can get them into the refrigerator for 24 or 48 hours and get the core temperature of the apple down as cold as you can, then all the metabolic activity that's going on in that apple is slowed right up. And so it deteriorates or it matures a little slower. So we're now in the orchard itself. Tell me a little bit about the art and the science of picking an apple. Ah, very simple. If you had gone to ch uh, kindergarten school and visited here as a kindergarten student, you'd know the best way to pick an apple is to turn the eye to the sky. The so, eye to the sky, so where's so that? So this looks, like the bottom of an apple looks like an eye, and if you turn it up to the, just take it in your hand and turn it up to the sky like that. You'll take it off the tree so the stem is still in the apple. And next year's fruit bud, which is right there on the stem, that's very near to the stem of the apple you've just picked, next year's apple blossom is left on the tree to develop next year. So it's important that you don't pick any little leaves and and, and spurs and so on on top of the apple because you would have picked two apples by then. When visitors head out to the orchard, staff are on hand to show which apples are ready for picking. The hay rides take visitors to the right row of trees, and the secret to visiting a busy apple farm is not sticking close to the wagon where most of the apples are picked, but instead going farther down the rows. Once you've picked your apples, there is still a lot to do around the farm. There's an animal petting zoo that they can go through uh, and actually feed animals and be in a large cage with Noah's collection of two, two, and two, and two, and pat them and feed them so they can feel the difference in skin and wool and back and uh, hair on various animals. And that's always exciting. Dad's camera is usually working overtime from that side. And then a large hay maze that they go in one side and try to find the way out. But there's a lot of blind alleys in there. And uh, hay mow it has swinging bridges and slides and the child can feel the sponginess that's trying to walk on straw. As you know, the balance becomes a little difficult. And uh, there's a sandbox for younger children to play in. The Chudley's apple season runs until October 31st. For more information and to find out when the apples are ready, you can log on to chudleys.com. From Chudley's Apple Farm, I'm Michelle Gatian.